big, big, big cobia, big cobia. Oh my gosh. That's a big fish. Giant cobia. Dude, I gotta hand you this rod for one sec, right, dude? Yeah. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep There's it tight. There's more fish, though. I saw some more. I just cast it with a jig, didn't eat. Oh, it's a big right. fish. Guys, this is a big one. Oh, he smoked the eel. Oh, doesn't that feel good when a fish eats, man? He smoked the eel. He smoked, that's how it's supposed to be. Hail off. Yeah. Funny. Right here, I right mean, here. Austin spin. Austin spin. Oh. Oh, that's fish. what it is. Barely hooked. Get him in. Yes! Woo! Speed! Yeah, he's 40 pounds. All day. That's a 45 pounder. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a cobia right there, folks. They haven't been eating all day. And finally, when we start messing around, that's when it happens. And he smoked the eel. That was awesome. I know I saw three more cobia, so we're gonna get back in that school, find that ray school, and find more cobia. I Steve, stop or what? No. Eel him. Yeah, stop. Eel him. Eel him. I got him. You got him, Steve? No. Oh, the eel. That's a good fish. That's not a 30 pounder, that's way bigger than 30. That's oh, a big fish, dude. Yeah, 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 get him, get him. That's yeah. a big fish, dude. Get him, Steve, get him, Steve. Yeah, That's We're a good. big fish, dude. That's a big fish. I'm coming down to help Steve. Drone assist. Guys, how about that? Drone assist. Oh my god, dude, that is epic. That fish is 100 yards out there. I know. Dude, that, that was a run, Steve. Steve, that was good work. I don't even care that you dunked my reel. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a drone shot of that fish and surf with Milan. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Watch out, Mike. Watch out, watch out. Down, down. All right, I'm neutral. This is it right here, this is it. Pull her head up, pull her head up. Yes! Yes! In the net, baby! <laughs> Those are the freaking 45, 50, 50 pounder. That's a nice fish, Steve. Hold her up to the camera, buddy. Another nice cobia, Steve. Live eel. Dude, that's a nice fish, bro. He's probably 40 pounds. Yeah, he fought real good. He fought hard. <laughs> he, he took a lot of line. Yeah, it's, it's already on the fish. I think he ate it, too. It looked like he ran after he it. Yeah, yeah, he's on. Fish on? Yes. Yeah. I think it's number. Right. I think it's, it's keeper, keeper three. Keeper three? This keeper is not three. as big as the others, but it's probably. That's, a, oh, that's all day, a 44 incher. All day. Awesome. That's yeah. how we do a limit, boys. Land them, dude, land them. You Florida guys landing fish off the front of the boat. Remember when I went down there, Josh? I was so confused. In the net. Woo! All day, 44. Oh, we got, uh, we got ourselves a limit here, boys. Today has been insanely tough. We fished eight hours straight, caught nothing. It was miserable. We caught one little dink. And finally, in the last like 30 minutes of the day, we catch three cobia. We got our limit. We're gonna head back to dock, clean these fish, cook them. Catch and cook, coming up. We're gonna fillet these cobia up right now, and then we're going to take these back to the house and start cooking. Wow, he's got, some, he's got a belly on him, dude. There's some serious, serious, oh, look at that. These fish were swimming a couple hours ago. That's the crazy part. Dude, that is like perfect. Look at that. Guys, I remember when we came up here and Steve, we, we, we did our first fillet thing and he was like, dude, that's it. I'm going to the fish market. And you, you worked there the all winter long? I worked there for one winter and I got I got my fish cleaning skills. And you came you came out there like like, like a scholar. Yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going over and around the backbone. Missing no meat. Lifting that fillet yeah, up. There we go. Oh, come on, baby, come on. Over top of that backbone. Get heavy. There we go. Nothing missed. Perfect. That is my favorite shark bait. Oh my gosh. Put that a hold from the beach. That's how you catch big hammerheads, big tigers, big bulls. Black tips and nurse sharks never eat a cobia carcass. That is pristine bait. We got our cobia here in the sink in this green bucket. We're gonna shave off the bad meat and we're gonna cook. We got two secret Virginia cobia recipes, secret. Steve and Austin. They're secret, guys. <laughs> the secret's gonna be revealed right now. I'm so excited. Yeah, man. And you're gonna be Miss Asavichi this time. We're gonna do some pan frying, right? Changing up for you. Oh, I love it. Something a little different. Let's start. I'm making cobia ribs. I'm trying not to waste fish, okay? 
I have no clue what I'm doing here. I'm just totally winging it. Like we're just gonna put so much lemon on there. Okay. <laughs> the ceviche before it goes in the oven. Yeah. This is called, guys. Look, if you watched our Florida, ma uh, the mahi, the big mahi, that was just winging it, and it was fantastic. So that's my theory when it comes to cooking. Just throw some spices, some salt and pepper on there, a lemon, and it it, it should taste good. I might even throw some salad dressing on it. All right, well, I can't take credit for what I'm doing here because I watch a lot of Gordon Ramsay, and this, he does this amazing fish stick recipe. I know it sounds so simple, but he makes it good. So what you gotta do is, this is one of the most important things, is you take it right when you cut it, and you salt it, so it can kind of firm it up, and what you're gonna do is cover it in salt, and you put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes, so it kind of draws the moisture out and firms up into like little harder sticks. Yeah, once they sit, uh, when they firm up, I'm gonna put them in flour, and uh, then I'm gonna add dill and breadcrumb and just pretty much pan fry them. I'm gonna make a good sauce too. Um, I'm making a little breading for my green tomatoes. I'm taking some little flour, a little panko, and some uh, smoked paprika to brown them up. I'm just getting my um, green tomatoes all floured up, getting the breading on them. You're not frying your fish? I'm not frying my fish. Well, what are you cooking in a frying pan? I'm cooking my tomatoes are being fried. Okay, so fried tomatoes and you're frying yours. I'm just frying the fish, yeah. I can't wait. The fish are first gonna go into my flour and then uh, they're gonna go from the flour to an egg, um, egg wash, and then into the breadcrumbs with the dill. Let's give it the old mix. Where's your, uh, mixing it up? Blending it up. Yeah, wait, I need a bag like that, dude. Bag over there. Yeah. Your frying awesome. stuff. So now what I'm doing to uh, start this whole frying thing off, I'm going to get the fish into the flour and um, make it a lot easier to get in a Ziploc. But he yeah. says when you take it out with these little fish sticks, is you take them and you just do that, and it takes the excess flour off. So I guess it gets it like a thinner coat so it doesn't burn. But I do that with each of my pieces and I line them up on the plate. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take my floured fish that was just went in the flour bag, and it's gonna go into the egg, and then into my dill and breadcrumb mix. I, I like to make a sauce with this fish. I really don't know, I'm, I just kind of wing it every time, but it's pretty good. Got your sour cream. Best peppers just about in the world. Chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. They go really good. Then uh, I add some garlic and mm. some lemon after that. Okay. Um, but uh, I blend it all up in here and it's a good dipping sauce for the fish. Okay. Well, this stuff looks good. What's your sauce? Uh, I'm doing lemon butter caper. Yeah, this is, this is, this is kind of interesting. We've got two completely different recipes. Two guys that fish in the same boat every day, Kobe fishing. And the competition is real here. I mean, they're, they're both convinced that they can cook Kobe it better than the other. And now, the problem with this is Josh doesn't really like spicy food, and these have heat to them. I personally had the whole jar, but maybe we just won't give Josh any sauce, but then he's not gonna like it, because the sauce is crucial. But I have to add it. I mean, he, told me, to, he told me to make what Literally. I want to make. I'll try, I'll try it. Ooh, that does look good. Look at that, that smoky smell is so Ooh good. Wee. We'll start with, just trying to get the, uh, we'll start with that, see how that tastes. I'll add, I'll add more if we go. Peel some garlic. That's uh, another really, like I said, I'm kind of winging this sauce, but you can't go wrong with that garlic sauce, right? So I got my adobo peppers um, with the chipotle. What is it? Let me see exactly. Let me... Chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. I always say it wrong. I got that. I got sour cream. Now I'm going to add some garlic. Just drop it in there. Um, probably going to add some lemon juice as well and salt and pepper and it should be pretty good. Timer's going off. And she's done. Let's take a look at her. It smells delicious, man. Wow. It smells really good. Let's see if she's done. Soft. And she's done. Got my flour, egg, breadcrumb, and dill crusted fish sticks. Drop them right in the pan. Let them start cooking. There it is, the rice cooker. Rice is done. I'm gonna check it. All right, here we go. Taste test. Here we go. I'm just in the middle. 
Father God, we thank you for this meal. Thank you for giving us these fish and not letting us get frustrated. Lord, we thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And more future good trips for yes, the next few days. Yes, and sun. sun. Lots of sun. Let's try the rib meat. You, I saw you. Okay, the buns are there. It's getting hotter, that sauce. It's really good. Really good? I like the texture of it. That's what makes it unique. I don't know if it's just because it's a really thick piece or the way you cooked it, but it tastes like... It's like a turkey. Kind yeah, of like it a... It feels like a, like, like, like meaty. turkey. Yeah, meaty. Meaty, that's what it is, yeah. Very meaty. I, I, so, I made, when I make this, I, I usually like to make my own sauce, which y'all saw me make, but I'm, just in case it was a little too hot, we got the standard ketchup. I mean, you can't get any more basic than that. So there's your options. We got one with a little heat that I made and just a little ketchup. All right, let's so try it. Here we are. Ready? Try one with your heat sauce. The heat sauce. Here we are. The heat sauce. <laughs> it's good, bro. Thanks. Mmm. Ketchup on there. So it, it tastes. I think I don't even need sauce, but right, let's try it with some ketchup. Steve going in. I'm going in too. Mm. So you got Kobe fingers. And what are these? Kobe and medallions? We have medallion, yeah. Yeah, and we got rib meat. Kobe medallion on top of a fried green pepper. All right, I've never had a fried green tomato. Tomato, tomato, yeah. I I've never it. made them before, so. Never had them before, here we go. Mmm. That was good. That's, <clears throat> wow. Here we go, Kobe, ready? Steve's Kobe. Dude, I don't know, guys. I don't know. That is some, Steve, that's good, bro. That is fantastic. Man, that's so good. Let me try one again. The uh, lemon butter on that is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot the caper, but. Oh, man, you had a special trip to the caper. We rocking and rolling. The rice they're good. good. They're good in their own way. Like, this one is like crispy, and that one's like a, like a freaking entree, dude. This is kind of like a snack, like a chicken nugget. Yeah, this, like is, a, this is an appetizer. and that, that's, that's what, that's that's what the it kind of tastes like, yeah. yeah. That's good, though. That's really good. It's actually all pretty good. Even that the tomato ribs, you just one. Just yeah. whip for it. That tomato was Kobe's great. a good freaking fish. That's one of the best fish in the ocean. <laughs> I don't care what It's good. I mean, we got to cook three ways here. This is completely winging it. This is, this is garbage meat. We throw that away. And that was good. This is unreal. This is a 9.7 out of 10. Easy. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's a high score. It's a high score. Wow. It. That is, you guys have never eaten cooked before. It's, it's unbelievable. Now, in terms of fried fish, let me try one more. I mean, for fried fish, this is a 9.5, 9.6. So I'm one, a point well, one below. Let me try these one more time. I might reassess it, but I, I'm pretty uh, give sure. Him a, give, him a, give him a dirty piece. <laughs> dirty piece? Hold on. Mm. I'm gonna give it to Steve for now, and I'm gonna give it this whack, right? Because the flavor lasts longer in your mouth. That's what's nice about his piss then. It lasts okay. a long time. <laughs> but, in terms of an appetizer, that, it doesn't get any better than that. Fish stick appetizer. Yeah. Maybe if you had like a tartar sauce from that, like a really good tartar sauce. <laughs> right, Steve? I think, I, think, I think you took it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's proud. It's a proud moment for Steve, guys. As he splashed oil in my eye to sabotage me. <laughs> is, that, is, is that what is that? That's what, what it was. That's what it was, right? <laughs> mm. we got hey, it. How about that rib meat? That was, that was good. That was surprising. That was very surprising. Different texture altogether. Yeah. Not throw away. Are you gonna throw away rib meat again? No, right no. my customers don't want it. Coming up with me. Coming up with you? you? Yeah. I like it. I like it, guys. If you want to catch Kobe, I'm talking. Fill the box. Nail. These are the guys. We did it in 30 minutes. Good. There's another. There's another char boat out there, and they got so mad they left. <laughs> <laughs> we rolled up, got them gone. Yeah, I felt. Well, it's not. Their, it's not our fault. I mean, they they, they just ate our eels better. I don't know. We could just put that on the hungry ones. What? We could just put that on the hungry ones. Yeah, I'll be honest, Kobe. Like, just watch out for the non-eaters. <laughs> watch out. <laughs>
Yeah, it happened. Be happens. warned. There's not much you can do about it. There's not, nothing you can do about the non-eaters. But seriously, seriously, if you guys want to go on an awesome COVID trip for Nail, the link is in the description. Failure is not an option. That's what that stands for. Guys, thanks again for yep. an awesome thing. Enjoy. Kobe, catch a cook. Great job. For the rest of this trip, we're going to actually go hunting for a monster. Will we get her? Good chance. Good chance. I like that. I like that. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time.